we can. Um, finally, one last thing. It is possible to harm patients, but it's not very common. And uh, when I was a chief resident, we did this study. We looked at 135,000 uh, resident studies that had been graded for like how much, how many discrepancies that they had. And we divided them by modality. And we read MRs when I was a resident as well. Um, and you see the like the discrepancy rate, like I'll point out like on radiographs and ultrasound, it's super low. On CT, it's pretty low as well. Like this is like in the 3% range. And on MR, it's a little higher. Like, I mean, you kind of ask yourself, like you guys, I think don't read MR on call much when you're PGY3 is like, maybe you do. Think about if you're having a, if you're at SFGH and you're reading an MR and you have like a question about it, like think about this, like when you're, like this is the highest, the highest thing on here, like 6% discrepancies. The rest like looks okay. This like sounds even better when you find out that faculty miss rates are like around one to 3%. And that's, it's worse if you're a non-subspecialist, but subspecialists miss things as well. Uh, and there's some studies from the past that non-subspecialist ER reads are basically the same quality as a radiology resident. Uh, so residents are good and like these, these rates are, are quite low, okay? They're similar to, to faculty. And bad things happen, like that subdural thing, I mean, that happened, but the faculty missed it as well. Um, so we'll just wrap up there, like to kind of recap, read some studies and a book maybe, get the history, just follow the clues. Just uh, think about these things and like think about this general advice. And like this is like the Hill Valley Telegraph, like after Biff is like winning the, uh, he's like winning all his, all his gambling bets from the Sports Almanac. You guys can be Biff, okay? You have this like extra information. Think about it like when you're reading these studies, like when you're on call, uh, because 